Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at what we think are the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for the Porsche 981, whether it be the Cayman, as you see behind me, or also the Boxster as well. So we've got five tools here. We're going to rank them basically from cheapest to the most expensive, and we're going to go through what these tools will do for you and your vehicle. And you can decide during the video which one of these tools is going to be suitable for you um, and your specific needs, okay? so. Now, what I'll also do is at the end of this video, I'll give you an indication, or I'll tell you which of these tools I, I would personally buy if it was my money, okay? Um, so, I, so basically what we're gonna be looking for is the most sort of value for money, the most system, the most coverage um, per pound or per dollar, if you like. So uh, we're gonna start with the ICOS of POR version 1.0 tool. Now this works on all of the main systems. So it's gonna, it's gonna work on, let's say you've got warning lights on your vehicle or it's just not running right. Um, it's gonna work on the engine, the airbags, the ABS, the transmission, um, and a few other systems systems as well like the air conditioning, the power steering, the roof system if you've got a Boxster. Um, and this is the cheapest tool uh, right now. So this is £99. Uh, all of the prices I'll tell you about in this video are correct at the time of making this video which is September 2023. Uh, but these prices have been quite stable for a long time now, so I don't envisage any of these prices moving too soon. So um, this is £99. This will do one service function as well, so it will also do the oil service resets. So you know when you get a message on to say that the, the, the oil service or the maintenance is due, this can reset those messages as well, okay? £99, this is a really, really good value tool, all right? Uh, we then come to the POR version 2.0 tool. Now this is the next step up. So this tool here can do everything that this tool can do, but this has a few additional service functions, okay? Uh, I've got a little list here, so excuse me because I'm looking down here. Um, but obviously this will do you know, things like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, air conditioning, um, roof systems, power steering, things like that. But it will also allow you to do um, oil service reset, ABS brake bleeding, new battery registration, electronic parking brake reset, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor reset as well, so if you get a steering fault, which is quite common if the battery dies on these vehicles. Uh, so this tool will allow you to do this, the, all of those service functions. Uh, one thing I didn't see actually is these will also do live data as well. So they'll do live data from lots of different um, areas within the engine, the ABS systems, and other systems within the vehicle. Okay, they'll all do that in fact, they'll all do the live data. All right, so that's the POR version 2.0, and that costs around, well, it's £149 um, right now. So it's another good option, but it gives you just a little bit more service functionality than the version 1.0, okay? But you do pay £50 more. Next up is the POR version 3.0. So this tool, as you probably guessed, it can do everything that these tools can do, but this tool will also do bi-directional testing. So... Um, let's say, for example, you've got a, a switch somewhere within the vehicle which doesn't seem to be operating. You don't know if it's the actual system or you don't know if it's the switch that's at fault. Let's say you've got like a motor, you want to be able to test the motor or you want to be able to test the switch. Uh, well, this tool will do that. And that's what a bi-directional scan tool will do. It can be called different things. So you've got like bi-directional um, actuation test is another one and there's another one that escapes me but um, ultimately it allows you to do sort of tests on certain components and certain switches within the vehicle so it's really handy if you're you're not sure if it's a switch or the the actual component at fault all right not only that but this tool will also allow you to do lots more live data including um, it'll do the genuine mileage check on the vehicle so Let's say you've got a vehicle and you're a little bit dubious as to whether the mileage is correct or indeed you're thinking about buying a vehicle um, and you're not sure about if, if, the, if something looks a bit fishy or you just wanna, you just wanna check for your own peace of mind. Uh, this tool will be able to tell you the genuine mileage of the vehicle. Now it'll read the genuine mileage from the ECU of the vehicle, okay? Um, most people are most sort of fraudsters or people who are looking to um, con people out of their money or make the vehicle look like it's covered less miles than it actually has. If they do the mileage correction, they generally do the mileage correction in the, the instrument cluster. Okay, so this checks the mileage from the ECU, which is like a, a backup sort of um, log of the, of the data, if you like, okay? 
Um, and this does all of the same service functions, system coverage as well. This tool is only 20, it's 20 pounds more than this one. So this is 169 pounds, um, which I feel is a great value for money considering the functionality you get from this tool, okay? Um, so those are the three Porsche dedicated tools. We now come to a couple of tools which are more suited. Maybe, maybe let's say you've got a few of the vehicles in your household or your, your, your friends circle group or your family members, whatever. Uh, this is called the iCars of the CR Pro Kit. So this tool here has the same level of functionality as this tool here, the POR version 2.0 but it will do it for all makes and models, okay? So whether you've got BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, Volvos, Fords in your vehicle, in your family, the CR Pro Kit will cover everything that this tool will do, but it'll do it for a wide range of vehicles. So I think probably a lot of uh, Porsche owners probably use their Porsches as a second car, unless it's like a Cayenne or a Panamera, where it might be, it might be a daily driver, your only vehicle. But the Boxsters, the 911s, uh, Caymans are probably second or third cars, so um, the chances are you've probably got other cars in your household. So if that's the case, then this might be a good one to go for if you are thinking about buying this tool, all right? Now this tool, because it covers more vehicles, it does cost a bit more. So this is 259 pounds as it currently stands. Um, and, that's a, and that's a really good tool. That's, a, that's been a really popular seller for a good number of years, to be honest with you. Um, and then we move on to the CR Max. So you can see this is like a tablet-based kit. Um, CR Max kit is, again, another kit which covers a huge range of makes and models, um, basically all makes and models out there. It even does some of the high-end, um, like Lamborghinis, uh, Bugattis, if you know, no one's got a Bugatti, have they? Um, Lamborghinis, what else does it do? Maserati, things like that. So it's the, 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 I'm gonna put the links to these in the description in any case, okay? Um, but the um, this tool is, coverage and functionality wise matches the version 3.0 okay so if you wanted if you if you think that this tool is the one for you but you also want a tool that covers other makes and models then you definitely need to consider the CR Max this again this for about two years now has been a phenomenal seller um, it ha it's had such good feedback and the software is always getting better you know you get free updates for life on all of these tools and they're always updating the software whether it be to add new vehicles to the database system new functions new uh, new well it, or what, it, what, what it can also do is um, the software updates can like get rid of small bugs because sometimes in the software if a tool says it will do a certain thing it might have a little bit of a, a connection issue or problem doing that specific function. So the, the service updates, uh, they will sort of iron out any of those uh, little, little problems and little connection problems, all right? So the CR Max is a fantastic option. Um, one, other thing, one other tool which I believe deserves a mention is this one here, which is probably out of shot. And this is like the CR Ultra. So this does basically over and above all of these tools. Um, but this is, basically what the garages would use. So if you've got like a garage, um, a workshop, or you really, really need high-end tools, which go over and above what I've mentioned here, and this is probably the tool for you. This does all sorts of adaptions. It does uh, like coding when you need to maybe code in a new comp component or a new ECU to the ABS or the, the engine, um, things like that. It will just really do you high, level of diagnostics but it, it this does come at a price this is currently about 1500 pounds so it is expensive but um, they are selling well because of the need for uh, tools by the garages and the workshops so that's an option as well but what i'm going to do is i'll put links to all of these kits in the description below this video and i said at the start of the video that i would tell i would sort of tell you which one of these tools i would personally buy if it was my personal money um, and the straight answer, I'll get straight to it, is probably this one here. Um, if I had just a Porsche, it's got to be the version 3.0 because the software is better. It has the ability. It, this is built on a different platform to these tools. So it has better hardware, which means it can house better software. Um, it, it's a lot easier. I say, say, for example, this can currently do 2022 and 2023 vehicles. So we've got a Taycan or brand new 992, this tool will already cover that vehicle for the code reading side of things. Um, the service functionality generally comes about a year or two later. Um, but 
We're not talking about those, we're just talking about the, the 981s, I guess. Um, this tool, hands down, the functionality and the system coverage that you get from the tool for the money, and also the additional bi-directional controls and the ability to look at the genuine mileage of the, of the vehicle. So the version 3.0 is definitely the one I would go for if I needed a tool for my Porsche and my other makes and models, then 100% the CR Max, okay? So these two tools are where I'd put my money. Um, obviously, you know, if all you need to do is reset a check engine light or reset an airbag light, then you know you don't really need to look any further than this tool but if you want something that is going to see you well in future as well because if you you know these are what 10 years old now starting to get 10 years old so if you're getting an airbag light if you're getting a check engine light you're going to start probably getting more of these warning lights over the course of your ownership so that's why this tool will see you well for all of the other systems and all of the other functions that you need to you need to be able to deal with well these two in any case all right so um, I hope this has been helpful. If you do need any, have any questions about coverage or what a tool will do on your specific vehicle, best thing to do is I'm gonna pop an email address in the description below this video. I'll also pin it as the first comment and use that email address and we can tell you whether any one of these tools is sure to work on your specific Porsche um, or indeed your other vehicles as well. So, you know, if, you've, if, you, if, if you're watching this and you've only got an Audi, then by all means, you know, give us a shout and we can, we can, we can sort something out for you. But um, I'll pop the links to all of these in the description and the email address so you can contact us uh, if you need any further help. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.